Across the boundless universe, countless mysteries await discovery. Among the brilliant stars that illuminate our skies, one has captured human curiosity for generations. Betelgeuse, the mighty red giant, often called the shoulder of Orion. Betelgeuse stands out with its enormous size and blazing reddish glow. But now, something extraordinary is unfolding in the cosmic depths. A spectacular event that has the scientific world on edge. The James Webb Space Telescope has recorded an astonishing increase in Betelgeuse's brightness, a surge of 250% that has left experts astonished and full of questions. What is driving this sudden, dramatic brightening? Is it possible that Betelgeuse is nearing its final act? A supernova? This unexpected rise in luminosity forces us to rethink what we know about stellar evolution. So let's journey together to uncover the secrets behind Betelgeuse's remarkable transformation. Betelgeuse, a colossal star, has recently grown far more luminous. Even if the name doesn't sound familiar, you've probably noticed its reddish shimmer on Orion's shoulder. This star is truly a giant. If it were placed at the heart of our solar system, its outer layers would stretch beyond Jupiter's orbit. Betelgeuse has long fascinated observers because of its visibility and striking variability. Unlike most stars, its brightness doesn't remain steady, and since it's relatively close to Earth, we can easily observe these changes. Betelgeuse is classified as a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness naturally shifts over time as it nears the end of its life. The star's unexpected fluctuations, including the famous Great Dimming of 2020, have made it even more intriguing to astronomers. Today, Betelgeuse pulses with energy, glowing more intensely than usual in southern skies, and its cycle of brightening and dimming appears to be accelerating. Recent data shows that Betelgeuse's brightness has risen to levels over 150% above its typical state, with its place in the night sky's brightness rankings climbing from 10th to 7th. In the southern hemisphere, it currently outshines most nearby stars during the early evening, and soon observers in the north will see its brilliance as nights grow longer. According to Dr. Sarah Webb of Swinburne University of Technology, Betelgeuse presents an extraordinary opportunity to study the last stages of massive stars. When Betelgeuse does explode, its light could rival that of the moon, visible even in daylight for days or weeks. This cosmic spectacle would thrill scientists and sky watchers alike. Although Betelgeuse lies some 650 light years away, close by cosmic standards, its ultimate supernova explosion could still be thousands of years off. As Heidi Morris of Los Alamos National Laboratory explains, the star has fascinated humanity for millennia with cultures like the ancient Greeks and Aboriginal Australians recording its changing brightness. Traditionally, its brightness cycle spanned roughly 400 days, but recently, this period has shortened dramatically, now lasting about 130 days. This rapid change, possibly linked to an atmospheric ejection in 2019, continues to puzzle scientists. While we can't predict when Betelgeuse will meet its end, astronomers agree that when it does, the explosion will be awe-inspiring, outshining entire galaxies for a short time. Betelgeuse is now fusing helium into carbon in its core, but eventually, as it produces heavier elements like iron, its life will come to a violent end. The final collapse will likely produce either a neutron star or a black hole. Astrophysicists like Jared Goldberg caution that the supernova could still be tens of thousands of years away. Historical records show Betelgeuse becoming redder over the past two millennia a sign that it recently entered its red supergiant phase. NASA and other agencies estimate that the star may remain stable for another 100,000 years. Though, of course, the universe often surprises us. Intriguingly, a recent study proposes that Betelgeuse may be further along in its life cycle than previously thought. If the star is indeed finishing its carbon-burning phase, it could face core collapse within a few decades. But with so many unknowns about massive star interiors, this timeline remains speculative. 
and the study hasn't yet been peer-reviewed. Should Betelgeuse go supernova, the display would be unlike anything witnessed in modern times. The star's brilliant light would dominate the night sky, possibly casting shadows at night and outshining Venus by orders of magnitude. The initial wave of neutrinos would precede the light show, offering scientists a rare chance to study a supernova from its very first moments. The debris from such a blast would glow as brightly as a small moon, lighting up the sky for months. This event would give astronomers an unparalleled opportunity to observe the aftermath and uncover fresh insights into stellar death. And while Betelgeuse's explosion would be dramatic, it poses no danger to life on Earth because of the star's distance. In the end, Betelgeuse serves as a vivid reminder of the dynamic universe we inhabit, a cosmic giant nearing the inevitable while still cloaked in mystery. Whether its grand finale comes in decades or millennia, its story continues to inspire wonder and curiosity in all who gaze skyward. Throughout history, dramatic changes in the night sky have often been viewed as ominous omens. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it would no doubt ignite curiosity and conversations across the globe. Astronomer Brian Pencraes suggests that such an event could inspire a renewed passion for astronomy among the public. But don't expect an instant explosive spectacle. It's more likely we'd notice warning signs, such as smaller bursts or disturbances before the star's final grand explosion. It's worth mentioning that Betelgeuse isn't the only massive red supergiant in our galaxy. Stars like Eta Carinae might actually beat it to the punch. Statistically speaking, the Milky Way should see a supernova roughly once every 50 years. Yet, surprisingly, it's been over 400 years since humanity witnessed one within our galaxy. We do, however, observe the remnants of long-past stellar explosions scattered across the night sky. All this points to the fact that we're overdue for a cosmic showstopper. Betelgeuse drew attention in 2019 when it underwent the now-famous Great Dimming. Instead of its usual pattern of brightening and fading, the star's light dropped dramatically, leaving astronomers searching for answers. While backyard stargazers could spot the change with the naked eye, scientists turned to powerful tools like the Hubble Space Telescope for a closer look. The sudden dimming sparked speculation. Was Betelgeuse on the brink of going supernova? Such an event would mark the closest supernova we've ever recorded. Unlike our long-lived sun, this colossal star is destined for a spectacular end, either as a neutron star or a black hole. Still, some experts urged caution, proposing more mundane causes such as a cooler region on the star's surface or an obscuring dust cloud. Astrophysicist Miguel Montargés and his team at the Paris Observatory offered insight into the mystery. Using advanced telescopes in Chile, they captured detailed images of Betelgeuse during the 2019 to 2020 dimming episode. The data pointed to two main culprits, internal activity within the star and a massive cloud of dust. Remarkably, they were able to resolve the star's disk rather than seeing it as just a pinpoint of light. Their images revealed a persistent dark patch, evidence of the dust cloud formed by an enormous surface eruption. While it's common for stars to shed material, Betelgeuse's outburst was extraordinary, ejecting mass several times greater than the Moon's. This colossal expulsion likely stemmed from a gas bubble inside the star. Every 400 days or so, Betelgeuse experiences similar cycles. But the precise trigger for this powerful eruption remains a mystery. Scientists are closely monitoring the star's behavior, eager to see what comes next. Such dramatic activity may be common across the cosmos. We simply notice it here because Betelgeuse is both nearby and well-studied. Observations and simulations confirm that a dust cloud blocked light from the star's southern hemisphere, the result of cooled gas turning to dust as it exited the star's atmosphere. Ordinarily, Betelgeuse dims by about 25% every 425 days, a cycle well documented by astronomers. But during this event, its brightness plummeted by around two-thirds, a change so pronounced it could be seen without telescopes. The 2019 outburst expelled part of Betelgeuse's surface in an enormous mass ejection, 
unlike anything observed from a typical star. To put it in perspective, the material thrown out was hundreds of billions of times greater than what our Sun releases during coronal mass ejections. This upheaval disturbed the star's internal balance, like how losing an arm would change the way you move. The result was a turbulent mix of plasma and magnetic forces, possibly explaining why Betelgeuse now appears unusually bright for its cycle. Although its outer layers seem to have stabilized, the star continues to exhibit irregularities, like a machine still adjusting after a major breakdown. These findings are key to understanding how massive stars lose mass before they die. Yet recent oddities in Betelgeuse's behavior don't necessarily mean an explosion is imminent. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupre, analyzing data from Hubble, NASA's Stereo A, and other observatories, found the event offered an unprecedented look at how a star's surface can change over time. The enormous convective plume that sparked the 2019 eruption disrupted Betelgeuse's usual pulsations, and though the outer layers have settled, the surface is still in recovery. It's a bit like watching a washing machine wobble as it evens out after an unbalanced load. While small surface eruptions are common for stars like our Sun, seeing such a large piece blown off a star is a new phenomenon. Betelgeuse has fascinated humans for millennia. The Roman poet Horace referred to it as Orion's troubled star more than 2,000 years ago. Its brightness, closeness, and connection to myth have long made it a focus for stargazers and scientists alike. The ancient Greeks linked it to Orion, while the Egyptians placed it in their constellation of Osiris, god of the underworld. The star's name stems from the Arabic phrase Yad al-Jauza, or the giant's shoulder. Interestingly, Betelgeuse may not have always appeared red. The Greek astronomer Ptolemy described its color in a way that could mean either pale yellow or reddish. This hints that its hue has shifted over centuries. Long before modern astronomy, Aboriginal Australians observed the cycles of brightening and dimming in stars like Betelgeuse. Their oral traditions passed down for tens of thousands of years include detailed accounts of such changes. These traditions, recorded since European colonization, offer rich insights into early astronomy, challenging assumptions about who first studied variable stars. They also show how deeply celestial events were woven into cultural life, with reddish stars often holding particular importance. In ancient Western thought, stars were believed to be unchanging, a view upheld for centuries until the discovery of variable stars like Mira in the 1500s. When Johann Bayer created his star maps in the early 1600s, he labeled Betelgeuse as Alpha Orionis, mistakenly thinking it was the brightest in Orion. Though we now know Rigel shines brighter, the name stuck. In the 19th century, John Herschel noted Betelgeuse's shifting brightness, laying the groundwork for modern astrophysics, the study of how stars live and die. Betelgeuse remains a puzzle, reminding us how much of the universe's workings we have yet to uncover. It's a single star, but its story connects to humanity's long journey of cosmic discovery. As we look to the future, Betelgeuse remains one of the most closely watched stars in the night sky. Its unpredictable behavior serves as a reminder of how dynamic and powerful the universe truly is. Every observation brings us one step closer to understanding not just this star, but the life cycles of the most massive stars in our galaxy. Scientists continue to monitor Betelgeuse with a wide array of instruments, from ground-based observatories to space telescopes, hoping to catch the next big event as it unfolds. What makes Betelgeuse so captivating is not just its size or its brightness, but the sense of anticipation it creates. When it does eventually explode, the supernova will be visible even in daylight for weeks, maybe even months. It will outshine the full moon and become a landmark in our sky. But while the explosion will be a spectacular sight from Earth, we will be perfectly safe. Betelgeuse is far enough away, about 650 light years, that its powerful blast won't harm our planet. Beyond the scientific value, a Betelgeuse supernova could unite people across cultures and continents in wonder. 
Just as ancient civilizations wove stories about the stars, humanity today might find new meaning in the cosmic spectacle. It could inspire a new generation of explorers, dreamers, and scientists to look upward and ask, what else is out there? And while Betelgeuse may steal the spotlight, it reminds us that our galaxy is filled with stars nearing the end of their lives. Each one holds secrets about the forces that shaped our universe. As technology advances, we're better equipped than ever to unlock these secrets and witness events that past generations could only imagine. So, as you gaze up at Orion on a clear night, take a moment to spot Betelgeuse, the star that has fascinated humanity for thousands of years and may one day give us one of the most incredible light shows the modern world has ever seen. Stay curious and keep watching the skies. The universe always has more surprises in store. Thanks for tuning into Voyager. Before you go, don't forget to click the video on your screen for more fascinating space content.